In this video, we're talking about how to find the volume of a sphere. And when we want to find the volume of a sphere, we always use the same volume formula. Volume of a sphere is going to be equal to 4 thirds, 4 over 3, times pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. So all we need to know in order to find volume is going to be the radius of the sphere. And remember that the radius is just going to be that section from the very center of the sphere to its outer edge. So this section right here, that'll be the radius. The entire section all the way across will be the diameter. So what happens if we're given the fact that the diameter of a sphere is 18 units and we've been asked to find volume? Well, again, remember diameter is just all the way across. Radius is halfway across. So the diameter is twice the radius. So in order to find the radius, we just take half of the diameter. So since the diameter is 18, the radius has to be 9. So now that we know that the radius is equal to 9, we can go ahead and plug that into our volume formula and we'll say volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. So pi and then we know that the radius is 9 so we get times 9 cubed. Now to simplify let's just realize that 9 cubed is the same as 9 times 9 times 9. We could also write that 9 times 9 times 3 times 3 since 3 times 3 is 9. So this is the same as 9 cubed and then we can go ahead and cancel a 3 from the denominator and a 3 from the numerator here leaving us with just volume is equal to 4 pi times 9 times 9 is 81 times the remaining 3. 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 81 is 972 so we get volume is equal to 972 pi and we can go ahead and say that the volume of the sphere with diameter 18 has to be 972 pi. Now if we're just given the radius is equal to 4, we can just plug that directly into our volume formula for r and get volume is equal to 4 thirds pi times r, in this case 4, cubed, so the radius cubed. And then when we simplify, we're going to get volume is equal to 4 thirds pi. 4 to the third is 64, so we multiply by 64. 64 times 4 is 256, so we'll get 256 pi divided by 3, and that's in lowest terms because 256 isn't divisible by 3, so we'll just call this volume is equal to 256 pi divided by 3. Now for this video we're going to leave our answers in terms of pi so we can give them as exact answers, but if you're asked to give an approximation then you can use 3.14 for pi and get a decimal approximation, or you can use the fraction 22 over 7 for pi and give a fractional approximation, but we'll leave our answers exact. Now what happens when you have a diameter like this one? Here we had diameter of 18, here we have a diameter of 12x, so there's a variable in our diameter. Well, it's not really any different. Again, we just need the radius. We know that the radius is going to be half of the diameter. So if we take this diameter and divide it by 2, 12x divided by 2 is just 6x. So the radius then would be 6x, and we just plug that into our volume formula. So we'll get volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed, or 6x cubed. And when we simplify, we'll get volume is equal to 4 thirds pi. 6x cubed will cube the 6 and we'll get 216, so 216, and then we'll cube the x and get x cubed, so times 216 x cubed. Now 216 divided by 3 is 72, so we can cancel the 3 and we can call this 216 72. Then 72 times 4 is 288, so we'll get volume is equal to 288 pi x cubed, and we'll just leave our answer for volume in terms of x, so 288 pi x cubed. Then of course if you were told to find volume with a specific value for x, you could plug that value in for x and give a real number answer for volume, but in this case we'll just leave it in terms of x. Similarly here we've been told that the radius is equal to 2y, again we just leave the variable directly in there and we'll plug 2y in for r, so we'll get volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi, and then we have times the radius cubed, or in this case 2y cubed. So we'll simplify and we'll get 4 thirds pi, 2y quantity cubed is going to be 8y cubed. 8 times 4 is 32, 32 over 3 we can't reduce, so we'll get 32 thirds pi y cubed, and we can just call that 32 pi y cubed all over 3, and we'll leave our answer for volume in terms of y.